What a magnamazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Thursday, 1-18-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was mixed bag of goods. Proverbs 25, 6 through 8 says, don't demand an audience with the king or push for a place among the greats. It's better to wait for an invitation to the head table than to be sent away in public disgrace. Just because you've seen something, don't be in a hurry to go to court. For what will you do in the end if your neighbor deals you a shameful defeat? Mixed bag of goods. Be and remain humble. Proverbs 25, 18, telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting something with an ax, wounding them with a sword or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Mixed bag of goods, lies and gossip. Proverbs 25, 21 through 22, if your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads and the Lord will reward you. Mixed bag of goods, treat evil with good. I leave you with this. Luke 14, seven through 11 says, when Jesus noticed that all who had come to dinner were trying to sit in the seats of honor near the head table, he gave them this advice. When you are invited to a wedding feast, don't sit in the seat of honor. What if someone who is more distinguished than you has also been invited? The host will come and say, give this person your seat. Then you will be embarrassed and will have to take whatever seat is left at the foot of the table. Instead, take the lowest place at the foot of the table. When your host sees you, he will come and say, friend, we have a better place for you. Then you will be honored in front of all other guests. For those who exalt themselves will be humble. And those who humble themselves will be exalted. Mixed bag of goods. Be and remain humble. Proverbs 34, 13. Then your thoughts. Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. See, wisdom teaches us to control our tongues because once it's said, we can't take it back. A wise person put it to me this way. There was a boy who had a habit of speaking harshly to people. And each time he did, he had to go hammer a nail in wood and he had a lot of nails in the wood. Each day he went without being harsh to anyone, he was able to remove a nail. After six months, he was excited about removing the last nail from the wood. The boy learned his lesson about harsh words when he was told, now tell me when the wood has healed from all these holes. See, each time we speak evil or tell a lie, we are placing holes in the person or people we are speaking about or speaking to as well as in ourselves because we are destroying our own character at the expense of others. Mixed bag of goods, telling lies and gossip. Matthew 5, 44 through 45 says, but I say, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, in that way, you will be acting as true children of your father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both evil and good. And he sends rain on the just and unjust alike. See, we need the Holy Spirit to help us forgive and love people who are cruel and evil towards us. Your enemy may not be hungry or need food. However, they might need a helping hand with a project or a ride when you pass them and their car is smoking on the side of the road. Your enemy might not be thirsty or in need of a drink. However, getting them a thoughtful card or a gift may just be what they need during a difficult moment in their life. Mixed bag of goods. Treat evil with good. John 14, 23, Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father will love them and we will come and make our home with each of them. 
See, loving and fearing the Lord means giving him highest respect with what he calls reverence and being totally obedient. This mixed bag of goods provide wisdom and understanding for our own. This mixed bag of good provides wisdom and knowledge for our own understanding from the book of instruction. Be and remain humble and don't try to honor yourselves. If and when your obedience matches the Lord's standards, he will give you all the shine you need. Don't do or hang around individuals who are doing evil deeds. When you rest and trust in the Lord, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ Jesus, found in Philippians 4, 7. See, it will be easy for you to promote peace. And if you are not promoting peace and always are in some mess, change your habits and include more Jesus with lots of prayer. Consider your associates or friends. Speak with kindness and treat others as the Lord treats you. And that's with unconditional love. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 through 14 says, that's the whole story here now is my final conclusion. Fear God and obey his commands, for this is everyone's duty. God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. When you know the Lord and obey his commands, he will show you evil so you will know what not to do. He will show you foolishness so you will know how not to act and what not to say. And he will help you maintain a magnamazing attitude about life and all you endure, whether you think it's good or bad, because it's for the good and will of his kingdom. See, our lives up to this point has been a mixed bag of goods with some bad and some good. And God allowed you to endure it all with learning knots and bought lessons. See, we will all stand before God, the creator, who will judge the quality of the lives we have lived. Can you imagine your life ending in a knowing act of sin? Would you be willing to risk heaven or hell on that act? Within the mixed bag of goods, I pray we quickly find or have found love, fear, and faith in God because our faith in God with fear and love gives us one reason to follow Jesus and that's for the reward of eternal life. Mixed bag of goods. Thank you for watching this video. Have a magnum amazing day. Be legendary and our purpose is your blessing.